thousands of people would die. It's a massive genocide occurring in Sri Lanka at the moment. Besides the genocide going on in Sri Lanka, there is no press there. For the past 25 years, we have been trying to share our stories and bring peace to Sri Lanka, find a way in which Tamils can live with a just peace. from the north part of Sri Lanka, so I left because of the war. I have witnessed uh, air raid and bombing by the government. We came here as refugees, so it's not here safe for me. I have seen the bloodshed, I have seen what the government does. At the moment, uh, more than uh, 400,000 Tamil civilians are trapped in a small area, and the Sri Lankan military is uh, carrying out a huge military operation. They marked certain places as safe zones and then again they shelled those places. Yesterday alone, 36 people were killed inside the hospital. We are working for peace. We are requesting here in front of the uh, Indian Embassy here in Washington, D.C. We are asking them to intervene on a humanitarian basis and try to stop this uh, Tamil genocide. My name is Rosha Hebsa. And so we're kind of here to give our voice and stop the genocide from happening. We're looking for a political solution to bring peace to the island. So we are very hopeful that um, Madam Secretary Hillary Clinton will take an active role too in trying to bring peace in Sri Lanka. Young girls were raped, um, people were set on fire. Brothers and sisters in Sri Lanka are dying right now and so we're just trying to bring their voice to America. India, help to stop! Tamil genocide! India, help to stop! Tamil genocide! Right now, journalists are not given access to the areas that are being bombed. No, the genocide is happening in secret. Uh, just a few months ago, the Sri Lankan government ordered all humanitarian organizations outside of the Northeast. So right now, the Tamil people are not receiving any food, any medicine, any supplies at all. They're just dying in, uh, in great numbers. And it's not really a war on terror, it's a genocide. The situation has a different struggle and a different meaning and a different history to it. Is, um, part of a small country but has a very big uh, place in all our hearts today. You don't hear about Sri Lanka in the papers. And we want India to recognize the struggle of Tamils and the stability will only come if there's justice for all the people. We are so sad that the world doesn't see the genocide, destruction of the Tamil people. The people of the world need to tell their elected representative to stop the genocide in Sri Lanka. Whoever is watching this, please, please appeal to your friends, your family, your church, your government, your leaders. Please help them stop this genocide against the innocent people. And we're hoping President Obama will appoint a special envoy to Sri Lanka, the people of the United States, to help us. It's a massive genocide. Thousands of people would die.